Day 89 of This Is The Police. This is Atari Living Sacrifice, bringing it to you recorded. Immigrants in the city up 19%. Ambulance driver takes down robber addict. Bishop demands name changed for Holy House Pizza. And everybody's happy. So we shall go. Nobody's asking for the day off. That's weird. We're going to go to the map. And, first things first, the Mafia, your share. We're going to share 50% with the staff. Here's my weekly salary. We're over 300000 How come there's still nobody for me to hire? This is ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. And I, uh, man, there's not enough police officers for this day. I'm going to have to... Start moving people around. A young man became outraged when an elderly woman broke in front of him in line and he struck her with force. A cleaning woman tried to intervene, but she came under blows as well. Uh, Alright. The corn monument has been strapped with explosives. The clear voice yelled into the phone, and then the line went dead. One, two, three. Oh my gosh! I can't even click on the other thing. Janet Elazar started an intruder when he was trying to break into her house. He kept yelling things in a drunken voice, said if I didn't open up, there'd be trouble. It's going to be your boyfriend, ex-husband, something like that. So that's shift A. We are on shift B, right? Are we on shift B? No, Forbes is shift A. Really? Why? Where is everybody? Oh, shoot. Shoot, they are at police academy training. Robbins, correct? Oh, shoot, that's my fault. I thought that they went to the police academy training that day, not the following. I should probably move somebody from one shift to the other. Um, Hutchinson moved to shift A, at least for a little bit. It doesn't change anything today. It wasn't a bomb. Some children decided to play terrorists and tape some wires to a normal shoebox. That's what we thought. 11, 11 in progress. Desire Park. Let's see here. Fender caught. We have enough to send. Miss House called in a complaint about some addicts who are loitering around Edgar, Palin, Edgar Allan Poe Monument. They're turning their brains to mush. They shoot up right there in the park in broad daylight. No shame. No conscience. Uh. Alright. Thought he was breaking in his own house and his wife was refusing to let him in. That's what we thought was happening. Far first door. Really? Teenager stole an expensive car but lost control and crashed the vehicle and ended up fleeing the scene. Shoot, I'm supposed to be, uh, supposed to be doing investigation on the gang. Can I start one today? Start to investigate? Nope, not yet. I done waited too long. Several overgrown men in dirty clothes are leaning against the monument. It seems they are sedated next to them. A few syringes and tourniquets. Shake the addicts awake and read them the rights. Turn on the siren. Body get an extra dose. One of the addicts sucks cops and tries to crawl away. Get down on all fours and tries to catch the addict in a fair race. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That would have been humorous. Didn't I already send somebody? Oh, no, I didn't. Ugh. Let's see here. Students report a serious fight going down on the street outside their dorm. Several people are shooting into each other with machine guns right in the middle of the road. Pedestrians are hiding behind cars and someone is bleeding on the pavement. This has all the markings of a mafia war. 
Wow. Please don't let this be a false alarm. If I send all these police and it's a false alarm, it's going to be a bad day for me. Investigation has started. So, now let's go to the investigations. Detectives. Let's pull Luckett off the case. And put Faust on there. And then let's start another investigation here. Let's put Luckett on this one. Because Luckett. More testing in progress. Desire Park. I came to the park to play chess, and people started running past, screaming, covered in blood, reported the breathless Mr. Connolly. I ran just as fast as I could. It was terrible. Oh my goodness. It's going to be... It's going to be a bunch of kids doing, like, zombie things. I'm not even going to send anybody that one. All right. We've received 12 complaints about Money Grow, a company with which promises reliable investment returns. Once they got the money, they started avoiding all their investors. They became belligerent and even urged their big investors to simply trust them. Brett Bryant, who lost over $10,000, said the director of Money Grew has withdrawn all the money and is preparing to flee the country. See, we're not even going to go after the zombies. Hmm. I got no one else to send. Sorry, y'all. Deal with it. Don't die. That's all I can say. Don't die. Uh, bring to the police station. If only I could sell guns with a clear conscience. Mafia assignment. We have something going down in Chinatown today at 2200. We don't want any policemen crashing the party. Chinatown, 2200. Chinatown, 2200. Seeing the police, a woman quickly hides a file in a safe, then grabs a stack of papers from the table and waves them in the air, saying, Our paperwork is in order. We're a real company. Take the hidden file from the safe, grab the stack of papers, and beat the woman's face with them. What do you have in the safe? I'll take the stack of papers and beat her face. <laughs> the secretary at the Blink Zone studio reported that a trainee photographer became so excited during a nude scene, nude shoot, that he attacked the model and intends to rape her. Hurry, he locked himself in a room with her. He's tying her up with cables. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Mr. Connell is experiencing the Indian Festival of Colors for the first time. I thought it was zombies. Indian Festival of Colors. That's apparently dead people. This is something I'll have to look up. Bill Buckler saw a truck and a few cars near his farm. Around them was a group of about ten people arguing. The farmer wanted to give wanted to drive these suspicious folks away from there, but when he saw when they saw him, they grabbed some weapons from their vehicle and opened fire. Buckler somehow managed to get back to the house safely and called the police. During a bodybuilding show, a small group of girls bust burst into the room and did something that threatens the very lives of the participants. One of the bodybuilders put, the, put in the call to the police, but his words were slurred as he spoke through his tears, so he was unable to clearly explain the situation. Going to have to send three and the SWAT team to this one. And a paddy wagon. That was my reasoning. That was my uh, logic. All right, we we successfully stopped a raping. Rape is bad, okay? It's very bad. The girls were just shouting insults and belittling the bodybuilder lifestyle, which brought the muscle-bound mopes to tears. Aww. Men armed with knives and iron bars broke into the club, determined to show those yellow slopes how we fight here in Freeburg. Oh, this is the one that we need to ignore, right? Right? 2200, Chinatown. 
Woo! It's a good thing I... Yeah, we're gonna ignore that one. We were going to ignore it anyway. Men with automatic weapons have surrounded the farmer's house. He's struggling to put up a fight. He's just armed with an old gun. Get close to the criminals by crawling across the field. Go over to the criminals' cars and start shouting and jumping around. Ambush and beat the criminals in the truck before they can sound the alarm. The suspects jump into their car shouting, Who's going to stay to watch the stuff? Shoot, drop your weapons, and eat dirt. What were they going after him for? Like, what did he have? That's the Chinatown one. We're ignoring that one. Ignore! Ignore! Successfully ignored, sir. Boom, 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 boom. Got three new frames. Attempted carjacking. Whoa! This is going to be a tough one, fellas. This is going to be a tough one. Okie dokie. The most we get a day is three frames. I guess. Massive fight. That was the Chinatown one. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll take that $1,500. And now all my police are here. All my peeps are here. One more day to ask for another favor. The end of the day has arrived. And we shall see thee tomorrow. Who's to say I really miss them a lot? Maybe not. I can't wait for the moment when I'll see them again. Who? Wouldn't Family? you like to see me? Ah, oh, Lana. But we, uh... Let me guess. You've thought about it, but then you realized this can only bring us more suffering. Besides, it's dangerous given the kind of work we do and why you ruin things when everything is going so well, right? Well, if you know what I think, then you must be thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, Jack. Because it's true. But is it fair? You know what wouldn't it be fair? If your friends caught you in a karaoke bar with an old man. Mm. With an old man? <laughs> Maybe you imagine you've been talking to a young Greek god with long golden hair, but uh, I'm 60 a 60-year-old year man. man, Lana. Listen to me, Jack. Ever since high school, I've been surrounded by old men. At university, half my classmates were old men. They might have been 18 years old, but they were already half in the grave. No goals, no ideas, just endless burned-out looks on their faces, exhausted and empty. At work, even my younger colleagues act like old men. They don't have the stomach for a fight. They're already dreaming of retirement. And then there's you, Jack. The only man for a long time who felt the same age as me. Because you fight. Because there's life inside you. Lana, it's... I, uh... <laughs> Damn, it's true. There's <laughs> life in me yet. <laughs> That's Jack! right. You're so cocky. Oh, excuse That's right. me, miss. I am the most promising young prosecutor in the country. <laughs> you know it's true. Aww. Aww. The love. The, the appropriateness of the love. No matters. Does not matter. We've watched Game of Thrones. We know it doesn't matter. There's things that happen in Game of Thrones that are much more inappropriate. But anywho, we're about to start day 90, y'all. Keep moving forward. See you on the next one.